In this tutorial, we'll take a look at avatar sizing functions within Clo3D. Currently, Clo3D only supports avatar sizing editors for Asian avatars, so we'll need to first switch avatars to continue learning about size controls. In the File menu, click Open, then Avatar. Then in the C drive, under Program Files, locate the Clo3D folder. In it, we're going to go into the Model folder, then the Avatar folder, and then finally the Sizing folder to locate the Woman East Avatar. Next, go to the Windows menu and select the Avatar Size Editor. Click through the message that says that there is no Avatar Size data. When the Avatar Size Editor loads, you'll see that none of the options are clickable. This is because we haven't assigned a specific size for the avatar yet, and to do that, we're going to click Open on the bottom corner, then locate the sizing data files under Clo3D, Model, Avatar, then Sizing Folders. If there are more than one default sizing file, select the one with the highest and therefore most up-to-date number. Now you can see that the editor is fully editable. There are four default body types, slim tall, heavy tall, heavy short, and slim short. Select one of these types and then adjust the avatar's height using the height bar on the top left. Then we can adjust the overall distribution of weight using the horizontal width bar. The actual value of the width is the waist size of the avatar, and the rest of the body is adjusted in proportion to this value. After adjusting the overall body shape of the avatar, we can get into specific heights, lengths, and width measurements of different areas of the body. Note that these values have to be adjusted after the overall shape, height, and width of the avatar have been defined as any adjustments made to the overall shape, height, or width will result in an automatic reset of these individual values. To save the sizing data, click on the Save button at the bottom of the window and save it as an AVS file. Now, let's open up the garment file and see how the sizing of the avatar affects the fit of the garment. To see the garment change in real time, we need to turn on the Simulate button. As you can see, as we change the width of the avatar, the garment also changes. Now, let's open up the size-adjusted avatar we just saved. Click Open, and then select the file, and you can see that the avatar, as well as the garment, changes.